G'day folks and welcome back to the man cave. I haven't been in here for a while because it's summertime and it gets very hot out here in my shed in the summer. So I prefer to do my mail time videos and my tutorial type videos out in the great outdoors. But anyway, today it's cool, it's raining and I have got all of these to open up. Hey Robbie, you've got mail. You better check your mailbox. Okay, Robbie, thanks, mate. What's the address? Post Office Box 3006, Yoranga LPO, Wangaratta 3677. Right, now I'm going to open these in the order in which they arrive. This red one from Liam Edge has been sitting on my bench the longest, but before I do, I want to tell you about my friend, my friend Jo. She's a lovely girl, but she was getting a bit big, so she decided to go on a diet. She went on the Dolly Parton diet, and it's worked. She's looking really good now. She's lost a lot of weight. The Dolly Parton diet really has made Jolene. Jolene, Jolene, Jolene. Right, anyway. Liam Edge. Thanks for the red parcel, but what's inside? Let's have a look. To Robbie Alexander, my name is Liam Edge. I live in a small country town called Kahuna. I love watching your videos and you have inspired me to create my own channel. My channel name is just Liam Edge. My favourite YouTube video of yours is probably when you lost your rod but got it back. Keep up the good content and excellent dad jokes. I have also included two handmade lures for you. As you could probably see, they're called the Robbie Special. They are for you. I can't remember if they swim or not, but anyway, they are named after you. From Liam Edge. And Liam's drawn a little picture down the bottom here. It might be a little bit on the bright side, I'm guessing. Well, there we go. Have me fishing with a Murray Cod. Have I caught a fish? No. Just like when Zeppelin draws pictures of me, it looks like Liam likes to draw pictures with the, uh, the fish, not on the lure. <laughs> Liam from Kahuna. Folks, check out Liam's YouTube channel. It's just named after himself, Liam Edge. Check it out and uh, and have a look. Thank you so much, Liam. I actually like people that use their normal name. That's why I just like to be Robbie Fishing. I could have... If you look at my earlier videos, my, some of my really old stuff from eight or nine years ago, you'll see a banner at the start that says Feral Guy Fishing. I thought, yeah, I've got tattoos. I'm a bit rough. I'll call myself Feral Guy. But on the advice of a dear friend of mine, just be yourself. So I did. I got rid of the feral guy tag, and I think it was the best thing that done, I ever done because your name is your greatest asset. Liam Edge, that is awesome. Thank you so much. And let's look at the lures that Liam's made for me. They're even in packages. The Robbie Special. Have a look at that. That's the Liam Edge Robbie Special. Wow. The Robbie Special is a handmade lure made out of pine wood. It is great for redfin, trout, yellow belly. Is the camera going to pick them up? There we go. They've even got on the back what they're for. And they've got Liam Edge written underneath on the bottom. Liam signed his name underneath. Liam, that is so cool. We're having autofocus problems here. That is so cool. Thank you so much, Liam. Right, yeah. Now, before I open this one, that is from Mark Whitford. Mark's actually another YouTuber. He's got a great YouTube channel. Before I open Mark's parcel, I've got to ask you something. Do you know why ants never get sick? Ants that walk across the ground. Do they never get sick? Because they've got a lot of little weeny antibodies. Rightio, what has Mark Whitford sent me? I've got no idea this was coming. I've got no idea what's in here. But Mark is another YouTuber and he's got a YouTube channel named after himself. Mark Whitford. And it's, he does a very, very good job. And it's very diverse. He does lots of different things on his channel. He's cod fishing. He's bass fishing. He spends time at Blue Rock. What have we got here? I've got a Mark Whitford sticker. Mark Whitford sticker. I'll see if I can find a bit of room on the wall for that. Right, so you can't see it. Can you see it? You can just see it. It's right on the very edge, just there. <laughs> it's on the end of the sticker board. If I pan the camera around, you might see it. Right. So thank you for the sticker, Mark. There's some owner trebles. He sent me some owner treble hooks. Now, let's see what the letter says. Dear Robbie, I have sent you some owner ST66 hooks and some 117 pound split rings for your pompadour topwater lure. I know what you're like with changing hooks, so thought this might make you do it. <laughs> it actually says that. 
I laugh, but even it says the laughing right there in the middle. You have to cut the back hook off and replace with a split ring. These bigger split rings make the hooks hang a tiny bit lower and the super sharp hooks help keep on helping my hook up rate a lot. I think of what it says. Keep up the great work, you bloody legend. I hope this works for you, Mark Whitford. P.S. Excuse my handwriting. I operate excavators, not pens. <laughs> Mark, well, the handwriting's fine, but it's right across the middle of that fold. That's what's making it hard to read. <laughs> Mark, you are a bloody legend. Thank you so much, Mark. And you're so right. If you didn't send me these, there is no way at all that I would be changing the lures on that pompadour. I bought, here's the story, I bought the pompadour, I bought it at Adventure Camping and Fishing last season, I thought, everyone goes on about pompadours, I'm going to use one. And I, I bought, I paid extra and bought the better one, because it's, uh, it's dearer, so it's got to be better. But when I got it home, I noticed it's only got like one set of double hooks on the back, the others have got two sets of trebles. And I, as I thought, I don't think the hookup rate's going to be great. The lure casts well, it swims well, and I can see why people love them, but I kept getting buffs that don't hook up, so... Hopefully, Mark, you have helped me out with that because they look really cool and I'm going to put them on the pompadour. Thank you very much, Mark Whitford. Folks, check out Mark Whitford's channel. Mark has some great surface fishing action. The, uh, as I said, he's, he's quite varied. He's done some saltwater, does some saltwater fishing. He was fishing for some saltwater fish. I think they were salmon earlier this year off the beach down near Melbourne somewhere and it's something that I look like I could really get into. Mark Whitford, check out his channel. Thank you very much for the, for the, uh, for the sticker and for the hooks, Mark. You're a champion. Now, the last one, and I actually, I know what this is because I knew it was coming. That's a book. I haven't have to open it. <laughs> this has been sent to me by Victorian Fisheries. If you look up the top here, it's got fisheries on it. And I knew it was coming. You see, I do a lot of stuff with Victorian Fisheries. I speak at their conferences a couple, occasionally and their trout festivals. And I go to a number of meetings. Just last week, week we had a, uh, a Murray Cod reference group, of which I'm a member. We had the Murray Cod reference group meeting. It was a zoo meeting. And uh, I just wore a pair of thongs and no one even noticed. And to say thank you for the work that I've done in helping them with the Murray Cod stuff, they've sent me a book. Let's have a look. Oh, and a certificate of recognition. Thank you, Fisheries. I never expected that or... I just do it because I love it, but that is fantastic. In recognition of your past and future recognition to Victoria's Murray Cod Fisheries. Isn't that wonderful? Victorian Fisheries have sent me a, a certificate in recognition. This certificate is presented to Robbie Alexander in recognition for your past and future contribution to Fisheries Murray Cod, Victoria's Murray Cod Fisheries. Thank you so much, Fisheries. It makes me feel very, very, uh, very, very special. That's probably the word I'm after. It's probably a better word, no doubt. But have a look at this. This is absolutely beautiful. I've never actually held one of these in my hand, but I have seen them. The Codfather. This is the Codfather book. It's a brand new book. It's a, uh, a brand new book by Stuart Rowland. Now, a life dedicated to the study and conservation of Australian freshwater fish. I've not met Stuart Rowland, but I have heard a lot of wonderful things about him. For those who don't know, Stuart Rowland, he's, he's been around a while, and uh, I'm guessing his hair might be grey, he's at that age, I think. Stuart was one of the original fishery scientists, I think based in New South Wales, that was, uh, was credited with developing artificial breeding or artificial spawning or spawning in captivity of native fish, particularly Murray cod. Back in the day, back in the 60s, right through the 50s, 60s and 70s, cod numbers just got worse and worse and worse to the point that they almost became extinct. So the government poured money into fisheries research, which is where Stuart Rowland was, he was one of the researchers, to, to they invested money to come up with ways to get them back, to get the Murray Cod back, to spawn them in captivity and restock and all that sort of stuff. And Stuart Rowland is one of the pioneers of that process, one of the very, the very first. He literally has, as it says down here, a lifetime dedicated to Murray Cod. Now, I haven't read this book. I've heard a few things about it. I'm just looking through it now, it's just got some amazing photos in, in it. I'm just, sorry, I'm just uh, quite taken aback. This is just wonderful. Wow. Oh, look at that. This talks about... This is just incredible. 
Oh, look, that's how they age the fish with their ocelot. Rod Harrison. This has got photos from the way back in the day, the old black and white photos of the dead fish that we've all sort of become familiar with over the years. This goes into everything you need to know about Murray Cod. These type of uh, these types of, of, of books are just absolutely is amazing. For people like myself, I love to share my adventures when I'm fishing, but I also throw a bit of science in and stuff, and that's because I rub shoulders with people that know about it, and I read lots of stuff like this. If you really want to know a lot about Murray Cod, how the how the uh, the Murray Cod went from almost being extinct to coming back to where they are now, what they eat, how they age them. If you want to learn anything about Murray Cod, I believe that this is the book to have, to buy. And when I get off this, uh, the, or get off this chair and go inside, I'm going to edit this video. But as soon as I finish, I'm going to start reading this book because I think it's going to teach me. I know quite a bit, but I'm going to know quite a bit more after I've read this. Now, I don't know where you can buy it. I'm just having a look because this, this was a gift to me from Victorian Fisheries. So a huge thank you to Victorian Fisheries. I just can't be, uh, I can't thank you enough. No, it's even got writing in it. Enjoy my story of Aussie freshwater, cod, fish and rivers. Best wishes, Stu Rowland. Wow. All right, folks, look up Stuart Rowland. Look up the Cod Father and see where you can get one of these books. I'll, uh, if you want me to do a review of this book after I've read it, let me know in the comment section below and I'll do a book review. I've never done a book review, but I tell you what, folks, if I was ever going to do a book review, it's going to be on a book about Murray Cod by one of the pioneers of Murray Cod science. Righto, folks, this has been an amazing mail time. Thank you very, very much, Liam, Mark, and, uh, and Victorian Fisheries, and thank you all very, very much for watching. If you've liked this video, I want to give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and hopefully I'll see you in my next video.